Hey, what's going on everybody? We're here, we're gonna be working on a autopilot Digi 220 uh, soft system. Today we're gonna to be replacing the cell on the unit. It has reached its uh, expected life cycle completely. Uh, the unit itself is displaying a warning check cell, warning check cell, uh, one way that uh, you could tell that you have received you have reached actually the total term life of the cell is on the uh, the actual blades when you're when you're looking at them after you do a cleaning on it if you see any of the blades that are receded long or uh, shorter than all the other ones those are all telltale signs that the cell has been um uh, it reaches life cycle so we're going to go through the process right now of how to replace your cell and actually we're going to be doing an upgrade on this unit uh, replacing it from a rc32 slash 22 cell uh, to a which is a 30,000 gallon 34,000 gallon or so cell and we're going to be bumping it up to a 42,000 gallon with the new ppc3 cell right now all right so as you can see here you know, this is our own our old cell the uh, rc3522 Setting down the unit from the old aqua switch, and I'm going to be showing you. Let's see if I can set this to the side. Open this up so I can show you the blades that are receded. here specifically with the bottom you can tell and I'm going to point it out the three middle ones are much longer than the two outer ones it's kind of hard to tell with the camera and the lighting but maybe right there maybe hopefully you can kind of see that the two outer ones the total left and the total right one is receded meaning it's much shorter um, you know you can say it's barely any calcification that's normal uh, day to day but this system was flashing warning check cell so this is going to be already used in, to its fully capacity and here we're going to be upgrading to the new autopilot PPC 3 and it's a simple direct connect to the same unit, you don't have to do no plumbing work involved. They're all the same standard size. This one does have, I'm gonna pull it back out. This one does have more blades. The other one has, let me see if I can count it, has one, two, three, four, five blades. And this one here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blades. So here you're gonna get seven blades in this unit. So actually, and uh, it's always recommended at the same time that you're replacing the cell, especially if you've had the cell for quite some time, to also replace the the cord that goes along with it. And you can tell that this cord is, you know, just to make sure if you look at the inside of the contacts, you know, they're all cruddy inside of there, and a lot of times that will uh, give false. Uh, electricity to uh, the actual cell itself so you want to make these as, you know hand tight you don't want to over torque it uh, we're gonna be replacing the cell uh, cord as well but now what we will need to do is is you know tighten this up because we need to turn our system back on so we're gonna turn that on and we're gonna be showing you the functions uh, here goes the new uh, cell right here cord as well so what you're going to need to do when your unit is back on and uh, working obviously it's going to say check cell uh, system because we don't have any cord connected under here is where our cord our red and, and black leads are we're going to be disconnecting that so to go forward we're going to press the menu button and we're going to cycle down so you see installer menu and press and hold the select. About 
10 seconds, and then it's gonna say flash installer menu. Okay, now you're gonna scroll down until you see cell type. You're gonna press select before. I've already done this before. We are at an SC36, which is compatible with the SC, uh, the RC3522. We're gonna need to cycle up until we get to the SC48. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press select. And then your cell power, you can check on that cell power. Um, the lower the, pow the, the power level, the less uh, production is needed for the cell. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, there's only three levels. There's power level one, two, and three. Three is the highest one. But we're gonna leave it at two. Press select. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit menu, uh, menu to come out. Now we're gonna wanna go to our maintenance menu. Press and hold it, cycle down until we get to replace cell. We're gonna press and hold select until it completely zeroes out. This is uh, letting the system know that you replace the cell and it's also uh, resetting the cell hours completely. See, amp hours zero. Okay, now that is how you completely go through the settings of the full pilot digital letting you know that you have replaced the cell now all that's left to do is simply run your cord back up underneath very simple to do then you take your cord and uh, you're running through we have a cap here and we can cap off one of the leads because this is a, a three prong lead so it doesn't matter which way you put it on or which one you use they both uh, give uh, the same current on all three leads so you see how this one has the cap on it so we're only using this one um, so it doesn't matter which one you cap off they all get the same one so run the cord it's fairly simple hopefully this has uh, brought you some value on how to replace your uh, salt cell for your unit and how to calibrate the system to the new uh, cell that you have if you replace it with the same cell um, you still need to at least at, at the very minimum because the system R is already pre-programmed for like let's say if you had the RC35-22 uh, which the new model is the PPC1 that's the direct uh, um, the direct can use the word for it ah it's a direct replacement <laughs> it's a direct replacement I had a lot of words there for the RC3522 with the PPC1. So you won't need to do any changes in there, but you will need to go at least to the maintenance menu part and zero out the amp hours. Um, you know, if, and if your power level is at a power level one and you did want to get a little bit more power, you can cycle up to a power level two to get a little bit more strength. But, um, you know, if you were working good with your salt and it was chlorine in your pool well at a power level one, for your pool, depending on the size that your pool is uh, and the if you have it working on the digital 220, power level will work well. You can leave it at a power level one because it worked right for you the first time. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this brought you a lot of value. Thank you so much.